as Lizia, aka Isabel Chiren. It's been a, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a coffee with Isa, um, but actually it's been a good week and a bit since I've actually made any videos for Second Life. I actually have, I tell a lie, I actually have filmed in Second Life, but I haven't edited or done anything with them, mainly because I just was taking a kind of like my own self-imposed break. And also, I don't know about anyone else, but when you do something as relentless as I do, um, sometimes you do need to step back and um, focus yourself somewhere else. I've had to be focusing on reality and it's kind of like ditching me a curveball a bit at the moment. So I'm struggling in my head um, with many things and I've touched on it before about my rental situation. It's looming. Um, each month that goes by, it's looming till January when this all changes and um, I'm trying to get things in place and it's, it's difficult. Um, you know, at my age, I don't really know what to do. So... I did touch on the fact that I, I was joking around setting up an OnlyFans. <laughs> I've done it. Okay, so I have actually done it. I haven't advertised it. Um, I joked about it on TikTok and I made some funny videos. I actually got approached by people um, in my comments through my DMs who were interested. One in particular who... Um, asked to subscribe and I said look I need to create it first so I did create it and I whipped up some content <laughs> and I popped it on there um, and so I've had one person there and I've left it at that because um, that one person was also um, a step into the unknown for me and also just to I, I think in many ways see if I was doing anything wrong because obviously if one person's paid for something they'll critique you they'll let you know um, and that has kind of helped um, so I'm going to start advertising it I'm not going to advertise it on here so no <laughs> you can ask and the answer is no <laughs> um, I, I don't intend for it to cross over into my virtual world um, and to my virtual life but I'm being upfront about it because I've got nothing to be ashamed of. I don't think anybody has anything to be ashamed of um, doing what they need to do to bring in the extra pennies. Um, no, I'm, I've, I'm not really making pennies. And actually, it's quite interesting because you set up a subscription. I mean, I've still got a lot to learn on there, but you set up a subscription and um, the only fans actually take £2 from it. So... Um, you set it up, say mine set up for $9.99 for a month and they will automatically take that 20%. So they automatically take that, so you're left with $7.99. And then when you think about what you're going to do on there, you really have to think about actually how much am I going to give away in there for £7.99 a month. And I've worked that out in the last couple of weeks, putting stuff on there and I thought, hang on a minute that's a lot and then when I realized that actually I'm doing it all wrong <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong <laughs> you hold back you make them pay <laughs> but anyhow it's it's a, it's like an experiment for me and um also gaining confidence and stuff um you know women of a certain age we feel a bit funny about these things but actually um oh, my cat in the background if you hear her um but actually on the flip side it's kind of like I don't care I've had a few people I mean a few people in my real life know that I've done this and um, they've said to me how do you feel about this Liz you know what if work finds out what if this what if that and I said I'd have to question what they were doing subscribing to OnlyFans and if anyone in my life finds out about it and has pictures and stuff I'd have to ask the same thing. So I said, it's a bit of reverse shame, really. Am I bothered at this age? I'm 57 years old. Do I care? No. No, I don't. I really don't care anymore. I think that um, the time of worrying about, oh, my God, will such and such say, or how will they think of me? I don't care what people think of me anymore. I really don't care. All that matters to me is that um, my family and um, 
you know what, I think they're old enough and ugly enough to understand that it's a needs must, you know, and that's that. Um, I might come to enjoy it actually, it's kind of good fun. <laughs> it really is good fun, but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Um, so anyhow, I've taken a bit of a break because I've had to concentrate on stuff. Um, in my virtual world, I'm cutting back financially as well. Um, I had to say to my friend Rosie that I'm no longer going to be renting the plot next to her. I've gone back to a Linden home. Yeah, I'm back to the old council estate. And I went and did that today and um, started furnishing it. It's just about finished, to be honest. Um, left myself about 30 prunes, as you do, just for what, whatever's. Um, and so, yeah, I've got a new little home. Am I bothered? No, no. The only thing is, if I do make uh, videos and stuff, I do them in the sky normally, and um, I don't really do them on land. So, but that's okay. I know of a few places I can go and do that, so that's pretty cool. You know, wherever you can res, you can always res up in the sky. Remember that, guys. Remember that. That's what I do. Um, what, what else is other news? Um, yeah, there isn't really any. I wish I could say there was a lot of news, but there really isn't. Um, oh, let me tell you something. Right. So I do TikToks, right? And um, I, I kind of like... I, I don't really do many avatar TikToks, to be honest. You know... Not everybody on TikTok wants to see virtual avatars. It's novelty, but it's not really, um, it's only a, a thing for us that are into Second Life. Um, other people, they look at it, they go, ah, oh, that's really cute, whatever, and then they move on. Um, so TikTok for me isn't about that. I don't, I throw in an avatar every now and then, but I do, I do little funny videos. I, you know, use you know, as you do, you act over the voices, you know, put lip sync and stuff like that. And then I'll see things on there and I'll just have to, I'll just have to have a comedic comeback. Well, what I normally do is uh, when I make a video, I download it and then I upload it to Instagram and Facebook. Now, here's a little interesting fact for you. Um, one video of mine went viral on um, TikTok and that was... <laughs> It was to do with camel toe, okay? So um, it was this couple and, you know, quite a lot of people watched it. Not as much as the single woman that was showing her camel toe. But anyhow, I don't know, it was a few thousand, not that many. I put it on Facebook Reels, right, at the other day. And it's 1.8 million today. 1.8 million views. And I sat there and I thought, what on God's earth <laughs> happens on Facebook? <laughs> but I, I push it through to Instagram, right? So this is just a little comparison thing. So I, whenever I put a reel on Facebook, I allow it to push through to Instagram. It gets nothing. On Instagram, you're, gonna get, you get, you're lucky if you get 68 views. Facebook goes mental. And it goes to show you how many people are sitting on Facebook watching reels, me included. <laughs> That's all I do all day long is flick on reels or TikToks. So yeah, I'm actually quite stunned by it. And then I went through and looked at a lot of my reels and I've got over, in a space of like a week, over 1,000 people suddenly started following me. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. Never mind, never mind YouTube, never mind TikTok and all those Facebook reels. <laughs> so that, who'd, have, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? So yeah, I've been doing a lot of that and I actually quite like doing that. Um, whether it's something I might get into more, um, I don't know, because um, my passion for Second Life uh, videos and everything has kind of like dimmed over this summer. I won't, I won't lie, it has, it's dimmed. It feels like running a Facebook, um, not Facebook, a YouTube channel for Second Life, it's, there's, there's too many out there. There's too many out there and I'm bored now, um, you know, and I don't want to do what other people do. 
So I'm a bit of a, a rebellious person at that heart. You know, I don't like shopping things and stuff like that. I'll do things in my own way and they're not really that popular with a lot of people because they don't stop long enough to find out the humour or maybe they don't understand the humour. But it's interesting and um, I just find that some things are oversaturated at the moment so I've taken a step back. I actually created another YouTube channel just to mess around with and you know uh, the first couple of videos went wild I was like oh okay I'm gonna have fun with this so I'm, I'm actually you know doing other things um, just to keep my interest going in things um, and I think sometimes you do need to step back from the main thing which for me is the second life stuff and just give it a rest which is what I've been doing and it's actually quite helpful to give it a rest because it gives you a, a newfound enthusiasm to want to do stuff like for example this video now today a newfound enthusiasm and by the way I am filming this um, using the um, Firestorm beta um, PBR viewer that's in beta um, I look I look like I've been tangoed <laughs> it's it needs some work um, there's a tick box on the preferences for the water so it, it you know it, it takes the water to that next level but unfortunately it's glitching at the moment so I had to turn it off because it's driving me insane um, but the vibrancy is maybe something that needs to be worked on I mean I, I filmed this and I thought oh, I don't need to add contrast or anything to my videos because if I do <laughs> going to be Oro Bronze Girl. Um, so yeah, this looks quite interesting. But what it, what I have noticed is it, everything's so rich. So the colours are rich. But when I, I looked at flowers and that, it, it really, really details them. So I guess I can see where this is going. And I noticed that like pavements and stuff, you get the glistening lights and stuff like that. So yes, um, it's going to be great. But Am I going to use it every day? No, I haven't been. I filmed this video on it. I go in every day and I just see if there's any other glitches I notice and, and then I'll go and report them. But um, I think I'll wait until it's all fixed because there's no point right now. Uh, I don't like some of the things I see and I don't like myself looking so orange because I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I wasn't orange the last time I looked. Not really. No. Anyhow, I'm at my house and well I filmed this before I've done the speaking and this house is no more so there you go because I've moved into the Linden Council estate <laughs> I'm in a stilt home stilt home on the pier and actually it's quite nice I'm happy with my little stilt home and um, yeah other than that I've got no no news to share with you um, not this moment in time but anyhow have a good weekend we've got a long bank holiday weekend here in the UK and I've had a no social media for a day and a half kind of thing um, because it's true you do need to detach you cannot be on it 24 7 seven days a week and you have to pull back from it and I'm really finding that you have to step back and do other things which I've done I mean I, uh, I've avoided answering things messages from people and all that kind of thing because I thought you know what I just need I just need quiet um, I have logged on um, but I've logged on to be artistically creating and decorating and stuff like that and um, yeah oh yeah by the way I'm doing a, a clothing range for Auntie Virginia yes I am a clothing range I'm trying to think of a nice name for it. <laughs> I'll let you know. Anyhow, I'm going to go and have a jolly good weekend. Bye. <laughs>